So why Python is so popular? There are a number of reasons. It is elegant, as long as your code doesn't get too big. It comes with batteries. In the sense that it features a comprehensive library of readily available functions, so that you don't need to download separate packages. It allows rapid prototyping of small and medium-sized projects. Most importantly, it saves time. Compared to other languages, you need to write less. For instance, take a simple Hello World application. A code that simply prints Hello World on the screen. Python requires 77% less characters than Java. Similarly, consider an application that prints integer from 1 to 9 onto the screen. This time Python requires 80% less characters than Java. Moving to more complex object-oriented code now. To set up a simple class, the most basic operation in object-oriented coding, Python requires half the characters required by Java. But is Python then a silver bullet? Of course not. The ambiguity that Python tolerates is also its weak spot. In complex projects, code quickly becomes hard to read and maintain. The practice of duct typing, which is praised by Python fans, quickly becomes a problem as project size increases. Last but not least, spotting bugs in your code is often a quest. What's the secret to effective Python coding then? Be methodic and organized. If you produce messy code, not only it will not work, but you will never find why. Our aim is to provide you with a principled approach to coding. You will not be a codemaster in a few hours, but hopefully you will be pointed to the right direction.